Hi, I'm Nick Grohl, also known as the Bad Kitty Guy, and I am going to read to you from the newest Bad Kitty chapter book, Bad Kitty Goes on Vacation. I mean, look at that. This book is so new that even I don't have a copy of it yet. It's okay, I'll still be able to read to you from it. You'll see how in just a moment. But before I read to you from it, I want to tell you a story. The story's not about me. The story's not even about Kitty. This story will be about Uncle Murray. See, one of the most common questions I am asked is, who is Uncle Murray? Did he exist? Was there a real Uncle Murray? Well, in order to answer that, let me tell you why there is an Uncle Murray. See, when I wrote the very, very first Bad Kitty book, Bad Kitty, the picture book, the one that goes through the alphabet so many times, I was working on this alphabet on, of foods and animals that Kitty wanted to eat, and when I got to the letter U, I could not think of a food or an animal that started with the letter U. I mean, I guess they are unicorns, but they didn't really exist, and didn't seem to fit the book. So then I thought, well, wouldn't it be funny if I made the letter U uncle somebody? And if I was going to do uncle somebody at all, it had to be my own real life Uncle Murray. See, when I was a kid, I had an Uncle Murray. And I loved my Uncle Murray. My, my Uncle Murray was a great guy. And I'd go to visit him. And I depict him in my books pretty much how I remembered him. He was kind of big and doughy and uh, he was going bald and he'd walk around in uh, his pajama pants and, and a stained t-shirt. And my Uncle Murray used to tell me all sorts of stories that were possibly inappropriate for my age about his friendship with a famous comedy team called Abbott and Costello. Now, a lot of the grown-ups in your life, they should know who Abbott and Costello are. You might not. So here's a brief homework assignment for everyone. Don't worry, you'll like it. I want you to find out a way that you can download or rent or stream a movie called Abbott and Costello Meet Frankenstein. If you like funny movies, you will love this movie. If you like scary movies, you will love this movie. And while you are watching Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, you can point to the screen and you can say, Hey, those two guys used to play poker every Thursday night with their real-life Uncle Murray. The reason I told you all that just now is because this book, Bad Kitty Goes on Vacation, is just as much about Uncle Murray is a, as it is about Kitty. And the chapter I'm going to read to you is very much inspired by the kind of comedy routine that my Uncle Murray's friends, the real-life Abbott and Costello, used to do in their movies. I hope you enjoy this, okay? Bad Kitty Goes on Vacation. Chapter 3. At the airport. We made good time getting to the airport, Cat, says Uncle Murray. In fact, we're early. I'm starting to feel, uh, what's the word? Happy about this trip. I feel like nothing could possibly go... Hey, you! You can't take your cat into the airport! Oh, hello, Mr. Airport Security Officer. She's not my cat. What do you mean she's not your cat? That is to say, she doesn't belong to me, but we're traveling together. If you're traveling with a cat, the cat has to be in a pet carrier. Don't say that word. What word? Carrier. I can say what I want. Carrier. No, please don't. Carrier, carrier, carrier. Okay, okay, I get the message. Let's go, cat. Try not to kill me while I put you in the you-know-what. One hour later, well, Cat, it wasn't easy, but I got you inside the carrier just like the nice man wanted, and I only blacked out from the pain once. We lost a lot of time, but we should still be able to get to our flight on... Hey, you!
You can't take that carrier onto a plane! But, Mr. Airport Security Officer, sir, you're the one who told me to put the cat into a carrier. It's too big! You gotta put the cat into a carrier that will fit under a plane seat! Do you have any idea what it took to put this cat into a carrier in the first place? My blood type is very rare, and now you're telling me to take this cat out of this carrier and put her into an even smaller carrier? You better do it if you want to get on that plane! Groan. Here we go again, cat. I hope it doesn't rain at my funeral, because if it does, I hope someone gives Aunt Esther an umbrella because the cheap dye that she uses in her hair turns blue when it gets wet. Forty-five minutes later? It's gonna be close, Cat, but we've got you in the right carrier. We're on the security line. My vision is starting to come back, and with a little luck, we'll still catch our flight. Hey, you! Of course. You gotta take that cat out of the carrier! Are you kidding me? You can't put that cat through the luggage scanner! It's not safe for the cat! Oi. First, you tell me to put the cat into a carrier. Then you tell me to take the cat out of the carrier and put her into another carrier. Now, you want me to take the cat out of the carrier again. Let me guess what you'll make me do when I go through security. Put her back into the carrier! Make up your mind! If you don't like it, maybe you should drive. Or maybe I will. Maybe you should. Maybe I will. Maybe you should. Maybe I will. Maybe you should. Maybe I will. Me and my big mouth. The end to chapter three of Bad Kitty Goes on Vacation.